Well, uh, thanks for the response video. Um, you know, I'll just make it real quick so you don't have to listen to the whole thing uh, if you don't want to. Um, yeah, you can completely misunderstand what I'm talking about. I mean, I you know didn't explain it well either. Two minutes. Um, yeah, I don't advocate any form of censorship. Um, I don't think any form really. Um, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, I thought I gave an analogy that sort of explained where I was going. I mean, I sort of. It's almost, almost ironic I have to defend this because I mean I sort of said, you know, that people overreact and say I'm against freedom and all I'm against is fog. I'm against an, a disorganized atmosphere. I'm against. Um, I, I don't. I don't mind. Look, all the clutter can exist. All the crap can exist. All the garbage can exist. Any everything can exist. I just want the right okay, to make informed choices. I want the right. To label it, uh, you know, and then have somebody before me label it, and I'll label some of it, and somebody else can label it. But let's label all this shit, and uh, so that when I navigate someplace, I can, uh, you know, pick and choose uh, my path. I don't. I'm not obligated to have the, all the jack in the boxes popping out all over the place and all this other crap because that's bullshit. I don't think I'm censoring any content. When I say pop-ups are wrong, should be illegal even. Spam is wrong, should be illegal. Okay, I mean, obviously, if everybody operates the way these individuals do, spammers and the rest of it. Look, you know, I still get some telemarketing calls. I mean, even though I'm on that, you know, do not call list. If everybody thought they had a right to to use the phone system to solicit business, we'd have no phone. I mean, it would just be. You know, they could just run computers constantly that would just keep dialing my number and keep playing messages. So, I mean, obviously, you can't give people the freedom to shove their crap in your face. And so that would be the one thing I would legislate. Because that's not free speech. Shoving it in my face is not free speech. Okay? Uh, so, yeah, I would regulate the Internet and say, yeah, okay, pop-ups, fuck you. Uh, spam, fuck you. Okay? Not going to happen. And so the rest of it's the liars and the cheats and the frauds that create duplicate websites and all this other crap and so yeah my, I'm simply saying yeah let them do whatever they want to do they can put any kind of crap I don't it's never about hate I don't care you can put whatever hate speech you want I wouldn't even legislate against already existing um, pornography with children in it if it already exists I mean I would execute anybody who actually produces such content but the existing content I'd say okay fine if it gets you off and it's going to satisfy your needs great okay indulge in it all you want but you commit an act of of harm or violence against the child you're dead okay we're not going to negotiate with you we're not going to try to give you therapy or go through this other crap we're just over what's done it's finished all right we got plenty of people on earth we don't need these extra assholes okay so you commit a crime of violence against any other human being I guess I'd almost put you I just say no we're just gonna give you a we're gonna humanely put you out we don't hate you we don't want to beat you over the head with a club we were just gonna get rid of you because we don't need this nonsense okay you're causing way too much trouble and because we placate these the real criminals we um, end up suppressing other people's rights <coughs> You know, because somebody's going to murder, you can't let you let people have you know uh, sharp knives anymore. I mean, we're all going to be walking around with you know round scissors and paste. You know, because we can't be trusted with you know glue and scissors with points on them because some asshole is going to use them the wrong way. Um, but anyway, that's not the you know the gist of my point. I mean, I just want to you know. I mean, it, you know, obviously somebody's not going to go to the trouble of you know reading everything I ever wrote or you know, watching every video I've ever made, but yeah, I, I mean, I don't advocate censorship, I mean, just don't, I mean, I've run websites, I've had open message boards, people have said whatever the fuck they want to say, all right, I don't censor anybody, and I'm never going to, I mean, I can't, <clears throat> I, I won't make some promise on pain of death or something, <clears throat> but I don't think I'm ever going to be deleting any of my videos, and I don't think I'm ever going to be deleting a comment, I don't think I'm ever going to be banning somebody for making comments. You know, unless they are completely gratuitous, okay? I mean, if they're making 500 comments a day or something, some kind of awful crime that just completely disrupts the message board. But yeah, I'm not going to send... Somebody wants to call me an asshole, they can call me... They can make. They can say whatever they... I don't care. Go ahead. Go ahead, okay? I'm all for free speech. I mean, I'm more of an advocate for it than most advocates, okay? I mean, I'm a strong, 
free speech defender. Um, but uh, you know, my point with the internet is is that it is crap. All right, only because we have this you know zillion dollar company uh, that sort of runs this company. Um, that doesn't give a shit about my choices, doesn't give a shit about giving me power. And we just saw it with YouTube here. We just saw they took away uh, uh, the, our power to make choices. Okay, and they're going to decide what we're going to watch and what we're going to see and what's going to be available realistically, what's going to be easily available, let's put it that way. Um, and they, they've made the choice to censor content in a sense. They've made a sense to, uh, you know, it's censored if you can't get to it. If you can't find it on the internet, that's censorship. And uh, so Google's the biggest censor on the internet right now because, you know, there's plenty of content that you just realistically can't get to. I mean, it's on page 953 on every rational keyword you're going to find, uh, you know, relevant to the site, and, uh, and that's it. So it's, it's, it's invisible content. Um, and that's it's it's even though it's on the internet it's really off the internet and that's the way the system works because it's not a system that demands um, organization and integrity it's not a friggin library I can get anything I want at the library and it's rationally indexed by the author uh, by the date by content I mean that their whole their whole their whole system is designed to do one thing and is to make you know is to index the content Google's, you know, brain isn't, it's indexing is in its game, its game is marketing, it is an advertising company, it likes confusion, it likes chaos, and it wants the junk in there because the junk is paying the bills, and that's the way the game is played, and uh, that's what I'm opposed to, that's what I meant by my analogy, I don't want to take anything out of the environment, I want to get rid of this fog, okay, I want to get rid of the, the the, the haze that makes it impossible to see what's in the environment and to make choices. Um, and uh, so, yeah, uh, we, we all know that .org doesn't work and .net and all those things, completely meaningless, okay? Uh, that, that was a, the first initial system for organizing content. That went down the toilet. And then we ended up with these, you know, we had all kinds of search engines and then we ended up with fewer and fewer and fewer because, you know, the evil company started buying them and destroying them, like InfoSeek and getting destroyed by the Disney company. <coughs> and then, uh, so now you're stuck with the two or the three and, uh, you know, Google has this, this huge dominance and, uh, um, but look what it is, it's popularity now. Popularity is the game. And popularity, as we all know, popularity breeds popularity that's all they're doing they're just making the popular more popular and we also know that once you're popular you got to be so fucking lame to lose it and uh, you know I've given examples in other videos I mean there, you know there's websites that got popular 10 years ago and they're complete crap now but they're still the number one or two listing because once you got it you can't lose it and uh, it's like the amazing atheist got a huge subscribers viewers but he's going to have to be incredibly lame for people to click that unsubscribe button. So, you know, once you're in, you're in. And uh, that's not how to organize content, in my opinion. You know, that's no way to do it. it there's got to be a system that allows some randomness, that allows some, some exposure, you know, to the whole sea or ocean of other content. And, and, um, and in my opinion, it can all be rationally searched. I mean, this doesn't have to be some kind of arbitrary thing. I mean, we can all know exactly what's out there, and we can filter it ourselves. The consumer should have all the filtering power. None of the filtering should be done by the companies that control the content or control the indexing. All the control should be in the consumer's hands. All of it. And uh, so, you know, yeah, I'm, in, I'm not an advocate of any kind of censorship. I just want to make my free choice to say I don't want to do business with a company that uses pop-ups or does some other thing that I don't approve of. Um, if they've lied and cheated to some other people, I want to be able to know about it so I can choose not to do business with them. I just want to make the choices. I want to make informed choices in my social environment. <coughs> I want people to be labeled. I want there to be some way, like I said, it can, be an, it can be a parallel internet where people actually have to be honest. You know, yeah, keep the shitty internet, have a dot whatever, dot honest or something, and allow people to uh, only do business with honest people who have to tell the truth or they're off.